Netherlands versus England clash as Barney was beaten by Steve Beaton on his return to the European Tour after two years without the great Dutchman. But we will see him again on the Euro Tour in this his final season. Here we have a former European Tour winner in Vincent van der Voort looking to settle the score for the Dutch here tonight, taking on Wayne Jones man who Vincent has beaten in two finals at those championship events that he won in the early part of the decade. Van der Voort on the European continent beating Jones twice in finals. A surprising stat, not surprising, considering how well Wayne Jones was playing back in those days. Let's see how well he and indeed Vincent is playing on this day because certainly VVDV played very, very well last weekend in Wigan Dam. Certainly did. Back to back quarterfinals for the big Dutchman. But we got a couple of major finalists duking it out in the last first round game here at the European Darts Open. Live at the Osterman Arena in Leverkusen. Only one of them will go through to complete the second round lineup. And it is Joe Cullen, the man who loves the Euro Tour, but he's not producing very First good spots so far this year. Vincent so will throw first. The, a man who's actually had to change his throw, which might coincide with why his form has kind of dipped and then just started to rise a little bit again because he had to completely change his stance in order to reduce the strain on his back, which has been giving him jip for years. Yeah, well, we've not really heard him complaining about his back of late, have we? I mean, I suppose, you know, we've, we haven't heard a great deal 16. from him in major tournaments. Well, at the World Championship, when he did speak then, he, he, he said, look, I, the back's fine because I've changed mm. how I stand. Now, you can't really see 45. much difference from the angle that we have of the players, but it's something that Vincent's worked on. Yeah, he very. I mean, he it was at the World Championship a couple of years ago where he announced his retirement. He said the back is so problematic I'm not going to be able to play again and he's gone through a lot of painful physio he's made the changes he mentioned there and he's still here and we've still got a serious player 41. former UK Open finalist of course Wayne Jones a former world master and European championship finalist already seen three Englishmen make it through this evening a couple of Belgians have gone through the top player from Poland is through and the young Dutchman Jeffrey Desvan you will see a fourth Englishman or a second Dutchman go through to complete the last 32 lineup that is shaping up to be extremely high quality day of darts tomorrow here in Leverkusen all the action live on PDC TV from 12 o'clock in the UK 140. in the afternoon a few matches jump off the page Michael Smith against Christoph Ratajski for one Daryl Gurney against Jeffrey Desvan and that's before we get the likes of MVG against King Cross against Beaton Peter Wright against Hybrex in the evening did you mention Dimitri versus Jackpot? well there's too many to mention Mention this, double 12. 117. No, I didn't mention that. And there are just everywhere you look. Fantastic matches. The second round of the European Darts Open. 60. Division you record 24. Uh, get off the mark with a pretty pedestrian opening leg, to be honest. We almost had a. A Jones short stopper. In the end, he was down at so that dodgy double three, but made it look easy. Bit of a pattern for these two meetings over the last seven years or so. Wayne wins one. Vincent wins one. Wayne wins one. Vincent wins one. Ed said, you can see the pattern already. Yeah, but also, there is a, a, a pattern where... Wayne seems to win in England and Vincent seems to win in Europe. Yes, before you tweet, I know that England is in Europe, although some disagree. 60. I wonder 
the last time you saw Vincent playing anything other than that specific dark song? I'm trying to think. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't recall Vincent wearing. I'm not even. He might even. It might even be a tattoo for all I know. I'm not sure if I've seen him in anything else ever. 41. This makes me think with Glenn Durrant changing his shirt, apparently he's ditching the red and white that's become synonymous with him. What's happened here to the Wanderer? Oh, well, yeah, quite. Donning blue instead of the old gold. But yeah, I don't have an answer to that question if you're expecting one, Dan. I'm well. afraid that has come up dry, not for the first time, I'm sure, alongside you in commentary. Well, Wayne Jones is, is not in this game at the moment. That will lighten things up. And Jury pops in a Mervyn King S really after hitting the first treble. That visits because he thought, where was it before? Can't really be called too little that visit from Wayne Jones, but it certainly was too late. 15 data, break of throw, a bit more like it after a, a very sluggish opening leg. Wayne Jones had a sluggish two legs until that last visit, and it was worth absolutely nothing in the end. He's going to be a real mix of players we get tomorrow. We have had some fantastic games, as Murph has just articulated, but in terms of the actual competitors, we've got some new faces and names. Oh, hello. Wayne Jones has just had six perfect darts in a row here. Yeah, 174 at the end of the last leg, followed by 180 at the start of this. Wayne Jones, is, um, he would wish that he could have just started the game about a minute ago and just write up, just, just call them practice throws because I wasn't, I wasn't really trying three. that. That doesn't count. Transform. Oh, Ooh, this is <laughs> incredible, isn't it? <laughs> the wonder of the wanderer who couldn't hit anything in the first couple of legs and then has fired him up. 11 out of 12 perfect starts. Yeah. Double eight for a 10 darter. You know what's about to happen. Yeah, there's a chance, isn't there? Yeah, oh no! The 12 darter will do. That's much more like it. And Wayne Jones gets into the game, breaking Full straight back. back. Looks as confused James. about the whole situation as anybody else, but that is kind of the Wanderer's M.O. When he's playing poorly, Wayne just sort of like trudges around with a look on his face as if to say, ah, oh, well, I expected this. When he's playing well, sometimes he's like, well, I wish this had been, I wish this had this the other day, that would have been really handy. Well, not bad for impressions, Dan, for you, but it is pretty close to your usual voice. That, yeah, that one was, I put less effort into it. You going to give us a, a Vincent impersonation at any point? Yep. 140. Look out for the uh, trademark Vincent van der Voort, Big Dutch Grunt, uh, when he accidentally sticks one in the five or the one, and you'll typically get something along the lines of... Whoa. That. Very good. Pretty accurate. I've been working on it. They were pretty accurate, but not accurate enough. Slightly lower. Well, he shouldn't have been throwing at the 20. Should he? Oh, he's left himself without an out. 100. He should have been having a poke at a checkout here. Carry on throwing at 20 until you find yourself on a finish. But Vincent's done here, but he might not get a go at it. 
Just couldn't get it up there. And now Vincent does have a finish. So he's not going to throw at the 20 here. Throw at the 20s now. Wants two of them. Those two, in fact. Nicely checked out by Vincent van der Voort. Missed opportunity from Jones. How important will that prove to be? It's all too much for some, as we've just seen, but is it too far for Jones to wander his way back into this match? Well, on the old pattern of Wayne wins, one, Wayne wins one, Vincent wins one, Wayne wins one, Vincent wins one, it is Wayne's turn. But I'm not sure if Vincent's been told. And this is a pattern that stretches back to 2011. And to be fair, all of those games have been massively one-sided as well. It's as if they have just gone, yeah, your turn, you win. 6-2, 6-0, 6-1, 6-1, 6-2, 6-2, 6-1. So, we're expecting Vincent to rattle off three of the next three or four legs and that'll be that because that's just what happened 140. going the right way about it Jones a long way behind in a leg yet again van der Voort who missed double 12 for a 100 one four one, one in leg one the attempting to get a dart at the end of this combo for the same double not to be Opted not to go the 140 to leave himself double two. We've seen a player go 140 to leave double one and a player go 180 to leave double one today. 100. Yeah, magnificently bonkers stuff on the opening day of the European Tour. More of that, please. Two more of them, please, is what Vincent wants. 32. He only gets the one. You require 156. Gonna get three more. 55. Is in your requirement. Go 16. three clear. And you the fifth leg, Vincent van der Poel. Sixth leg, Wayne to throw it first. Game on. Performance of the day for you, Dan. I thought Glenn Durrin showed enough. He was kind of dragged into a bit of a fight by Michael Rosenauer, but when he was pulled back to four all, he put his foot to the floor and put in a, a very decent display. I thought that Adam Hunt was good this afternoon. And to be fair, the very first performance of the day, Justin Pike looked pretty sharp against Ryan Meikle. But we've not seen anybody really turn it on. Uh, a top, top class display. I mean, Stephen Beaton showed a lot of, a lot of character to come from behind against Raymond van Barneveld. But you get the feeling with the bronze Adonis, he just goes up there and plays the game in one way. And at the end of it, when somebody calls game shot in the match, he's either one who he's lost. It's completely, you know, it's not like he's had to dig deep to win it or he's had to do anything special. He's just Steve Beaton's being Steve Beaton for a bit. And then yeah. when you tell him to stop, you find out if he's won or not. Well, we discussed the point in commentary that Barney, as we also discussed last weekend, is a man who needs to leave feet and certainly doesn't. Uh, a bit too good from Wayne Jones there. Leaves him on 11, which can be a little bit awkward. Vincent has given himself a chance if this does prove to be too awkward. Got the first bit done. Now wants to slide one into the green bits. Seven. This is your require 151. Well, this might be a match winning shot effectively. Could go. Double top for the Dutch destroyer. And it might have destroyed Wayne Jones. Wayne, you require four. Make sure the sick leg, Wayne Jones. Not destroyed just yet. So leg Vincent to throw first. But Vincent van der Voort still has a firm grip 
on the outcome of this contest. Mentioned his run 95. in Wigan last weekend where he reached back-to-back -back quarterfinals. Had notable wins against Gary Anderson, Josh Payne and James Ward. The Payne match when he won one average 104, the real standout performance on the first day. Yeah, he's had a handful of 100 averages so far this year on the tour. Beats the likes of Keegan Brown, Terry Temple, Benito van der Pass, and of course that one against Josh Payne. But he's typically ticking along in the sort of low to mid 90s. Oh, he's it? in the top 32 in the averages list. It's kind of where you expect him to be. He was actually one of only two players that weekend to win his board on both days. Mm. Quite a remarkable stat. The other being Keegan Brown. Well, he's found it a rather better way to leave 166 this time. <laughs> yeah, can't criticise him for that one. 61. Don't do it again, Vincent. There we go. Five in the treble 20 and a single 14. That means that Vincent van der Voort should be going 5-2 up here. 44. Virginia requires 32. Okay, you show on the 7 play. Vincent van der Voort. Found a way in. In the end, it looked tricky, but down the bottom of the bed, and now Wayne Jones needs to find four consecutive legs, or he'll be wandering all the way back to Wolverhampton in the morning. 83. Well, we will be seeing Wayne again on the Euro Tour very soon. In just over a month's time, the German Darts Open, Saarbrücken. A historic tournament last year, of course, where Max Hopp became the first 16. German to pick up a senior ranking title in PDC Darts. A magical moment 85. on the European Tour. And who knows what awaits this season or indeed this weekend. Already seen some significant moments. Glenn Durrant winning his first game on the European Tour today. 55. Could that be the start of a big story? We thought that the 4 2 up, Raymond van Barneveld might be embarking on something titanic. Although his hopes are sunk pretty quickly by Steve Beaton from there. But the opportunities are there for any of these guys. Unknown players, young players, players breaking through. Somebody like Ted Everts go and do something this weekend. Dimitri Vandenberg. People are expecting him to do something big at some point in senior darts. When Jones might have needed something bigger there. Vincent finds one treble here. He's going to probably force Jones into taking this 106 out. Find one treble. When you require 106. One treble needed. But he's only going to get one dart at the double. If he gets it. Which he doesn't. And Vincent should get at least one match dart. And this might be curtains for the Wanderer. As the Dutch destroyer looks... A treble 18, a double 12. 15. And the sequence of win, loss, win, and loss is broken, but it's another four. convincing victory in this strange old pattern of games that these two play out. But the Dutch destroyer, Vincent van der Voort, joins his countryman, Jeffrey Desvan, in winning this evening and booking his place in the second round of the European Darts Open. That completes our round two lineup. 32 players will return here to the Osterman Arena tomorrow in Leverkusen for the second day. Looking to make the last 16 and keep alive their hopes of winning the opening Euro Tour event of the year. We'll grab a few words with Vincent. We will return tomorrow. 1 p.m. local time, 12 Vincent, in the UK. Congratulations. As the players, including MVG.
those and to the right. Messi, are they always a very, very nervous affair? Because it, it, it seemed like it. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's always hard to play the first round, especially the last ma match of the night. And uh, but I'm just happy to get through. I played absolutely so bad, <laughs> but he was just as bad as me. So yeah. So uh, I will be much better tomorrow. But yeah, good night rest and. I'll be back tomorrow. Ja, ich habe ihn gefragt nach dieser Schwierigkeit der Erstrundenspiele. Er sagt, ja, er ist einfach froh, da irgendwie durch zu sein. Und er sagt, ich muss ganz ehrlich sein, ich habe furchtbar gespielt. Gott sei Dank, sagt er, hat Wayne Jones genauso furchtbar gespielt wie ich. Und er sagt, äh, jetzt eine gute Nacht, Schlaf und dann äh, sieht es für morgen für die zweite Runde dann gut aus. Second round, you're going to play Joe Cullen. I'd say that's a 50-50 thing, really. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a fast player, you're a fast player. Could be a really good game. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm just, I'm not looking at numbers or something like that, but if I play well, I, I think I'll get a good chance. Morgen dann gegen den Rockstar Joe Cullen. Das wird eine sehr schnelle Partie werden. Das liegt Vincent van der Voort. Da kann er seinen Rhythmus ordentlich ausspielen. Wir wünschen ihm in der zweiten Runde viel Glück und bedanken uns beim Dutch Destroyer Vincent van der Voort.